Hello and happy Halloween. It is uh, October 31st, 2017. It's my day 1.172. And um, kind of quiet. We just got the, the end of trick or treat night. So <clears throat> I quickly turned off all the lights and unplugged stuff and hid back in the back room. Um, trick or treating is, is technically it's over. And it was very cold outside, so I, I needed to come inside. I'm still wearing my costume, which is my kimono that I made. Um, my daughter is out trick-or-treating with her cousins, uh, and so she's gone for a little bit with her uh, with her mother. And so um, I had a bit of a twinge, um, kind of a sadness, and I don't know. I can't quite put my finger on it. Um, back when things were rocky... And really, I guess I was coming to terms with the direction I was going to take in my life. Um, as a couple, we separated. I'm not going to say anything that's hidden. I mean, secret or private. But, you know, we, we drew apart from each other. And so at this time, several years ago, you know, it was the only time kind of that I had to myself and um, once I had decided to transition and before my daughter knew about it we had agreed that until you know Katie we would wait a while and not say anything to Katie my daughter and and so really this time this quiet time when I'm by myself this is kind of there was a time where it was very few and far between, and this is one of those times where I would have, you know, two two or three hours to myself that I could dress how I wanted, act how I wanted, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And so, you know, it kind of brought a little bit of sadness in a way as I'm repeating that time I'm by myself. Um, and last year was really the first year that my uh, my ex-wife had moved out and she was you know on her own doing her thing with her friends and again she'd pick up my daughter and they'd go but you know last year was the first year that my ex-wife had seen me um you know I was full time but you know only on hormones for seven months you know and still probably looked a lot like her uh, her ex-husband what she was used to and so this year she came over and to pass out candy with my daughter and and whatnot you know this year was very very different you know this year uh obviously i look a lot different and i i feel like i feel i feel a lot different i feel a lot different and um, while my daughter was passing out candy and uh, something had come up where my ex-wife, you know, wanted me to help her pick up something. And I, I looked at her and I said, I, I don't, I can't pick that up, you know, and she looked at me like you used to. And I, I was like, but, you know, I've lost a lot of body mass and she didn't really understand. And I, I had to kind of explain it to her that, you know, in our bodies we have blueprints and about almost 18 months ago I'm, I'm two weeks shy of 18 months you know my body got a different you know activated the female blueprints you know it was the male blueprints were on and then the female blueprints got turned on and it was like okay recycle over here body mass recycle it Break it down, recycle it, and build according to this blueprint, the feminine blueprint. And so I kind of had to explain to her that, you know, my body has changed. And obviously I'm, I'm wearing a kimono. Okay, you can't really see uh, too much. And, and I, I like to think that my body is sculpted. The changes are a little bit. still have a long way to go. But um, uh, where I'm going with this and probably not very well as my my ex-wife wanted to take some pictures of Katie and I um, together and she did and I 
she, you know, she took the picture and then she showed me the picture. And looking through her view screen on her phone, for whatever reason, I, I didn't like the picture of me, you know. Um, it didn't look like me the way I keep looking at myself now in the screen here on the lower corner. Um, and then I looked at my picture I took on my phone earlier and it, it made me wonder the camera, her camera, somewhat like her eye. How does, how does she see me? You know, what does she see? Could I, could I imagine myself somewhat where she is and looking at me and maybe seeing some, you know, a reflection, of, excuse me, a reflection of who, who I used to be and, and the dregs and whatnot. Um, you know, what, what does she see? And like I said, when I looked through her camera, the picture she took of me, I was like, you know, I, I saw myself as not, not together. And it was just kind of a weird feeling, and it made me feel kind of uncomfortable. Um, you know, and and I knew she was gonna send that picture to her girlfriend, and you know, in my own mind, I'm adding a conversation like, "Can you believe what an ugly bitch this is? <laughs> you know, can you believe what a terrible woman uh, my husband, my ex-husband makes? You know, and uh, looking at those pictures, I'd, I don't have to agree." But I don't know. So again, I, 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 that, I try to imagine how, and through her eyes, how she sees me. And I wonder how the world sees me. And, and then I look at my own, my reflection in my mirror. And I like what I see. You know what I mean? It just, it's really kind of, it was really weird. It was like looking at a, like through a filter. You know, what is the real vision what is the real uh rendering of of who i was and am and then to look at it through her filter and her eyes and to see i don't know but it, it made me very sad you know very very sad uh somewhat and when i came in and you know again this what i had let off with you know this was kind of my time several years ago this was the only time i could be myself and it just, it, it brought back kind of a sad, a sad note, you know. Um, and I know my ex-wife, you know, has a girlfriend and, and, you know, she's obviously dating and everything. And, and I don't have that. You know, I, I have my daughter. Um, that's where I need to be. I need to be a parent right now. But, um, you know, it makes me wonder somewhat for the future. You know, if I will find someone and how that's going to work into our situation, you know, and I guess that's on the future. That's on the horizon. Uh, I have not eaten any candy. Um, diet uh, is still going on. I just ate a big bowl of salad um, and uh, that's my dinner and uh, whatnot. I feel kind of sad. Like I said, it's kind of a blue... I feel very blue, you know, and again, in the past, you know, Halloween, we would have pizza and it would be a fun thing. And, and now I'm alone. It's, you know, for the moment and maybe for a while, too. Um, but I thought about maybe where I might be this time next year. Um, hopefully, <clears throat> if all goes well, you know, I will have had GCS by now. Um, I'm kind of imagining somewhere in March, April, May, June, you know, by the end of the summer. And, um, you know, this time next year, things may be a little different. And uh, this year I, I made the kimono. Next year I'm going to probably buy a drindle. I really want a drindle dress. And I'm hoping that um, <clears throat> given another year of uh, hormones at work, uh There'll be more of a female form there, as well as more changes, you know. 
Uh, and then obviously, too, if I have GCS, you know. I don't know. I, I don't think I'm going to find somebody till I have GCS. And part of me is worried that I won't find anyone anyway. You know, like you you feel like you're going to be alone for the rest of your life. And that's, that's a possibility, too, you know. But <clears throat> I guess next year I can have buffalo wings and I can have pizza <laughs> and I can have candy. So next year it's not going to be a bad thing, but but this year it's all it's all weight loss. It's all you know. This year is focused on that, and then um, in December it looks like I'll probably be. Um, starting electrolysis on my surgical site and this stuff up here so I don't know no reason to be sad I guess it's just just another day but um hmm it happens it happens and really I guess that's just about it I've kind of run out of steam I might do some German flashcards here and probably go to bed. Well, I gotta wait for my daughter to come home, but I'm just in a poopy mood. <clears throat> and maybe that's all it is, too. Um, we never know, we never know what the future holds, you know, and I know that's a cliche, but we never know where we're gonna be. Some things are more likely than others, I'll give you that, but all right. Well, appreciate the 12 minutes here. I just needed to record. Um, you know, transition is still going on. Although I can see how someone would say <laughs> if they didn't have good eyesight or their glasses were broken, they'd say, well, Robin's looking a little like a girl. I don't know. Hmm. I feel very sad and I don't know why. But I just do. And maybe I'll figure that out too. We can hope. Maybe I just need a good cry. Maybe. All right, my friends. Bye. And good luck. <laughs>